Okay, so for our zombie, what we're gonna be doing first is creating more of a pallor to the skin. Not so much white, but just like some of the colors faded because the blood has gone out of the skin and the decomposition has begun. And it may look like a mess right now, but we blend. This is just creating a slightly decomposed skin tone where it's got a more of a sickly look to it, lightening it up a bit. So it looks like some of the blood has been, you know, the blood's draining out of the body. It's going away. There's not life in the skin anymore. And it doesn't have to look even because no un living undead has an even skin tone. So it's not about pretty, it's about undead. I'm actually gonna go in now with a little bit of a white makeup just to further bring out more of a gaunt look. Now this, I'm moving pretty fast because really there's not a lot of detail involved in this and you can move fast. I'm using a brush, but you can use your fingers, your hands doing it, whatever works easiest for you because the details come later and that's what really, really matters. You notice I'm not really going under the eyes too much because we're gonna keep that kind of dark and kind of sunken in. Okay, so pretty much we've got the skin lightened up. He looks kind of ill. Now I'm gonna go in with a little bit of actually like a real light purple powder. So you don't wanna do just a white. A little bit of purple, again, gives more of like a sickly look to it. And again, you don't need detail with this. You know, and since he has a goatee, you don't need to put too much of the cream in there. The powder kind of usually gets through quite well on its own. Otherwise you're gonna have cream makeup stuck in there and it gets a little bit hard to work with. So save yourself the hassle and don't really worry about that too much if you have a goatee or even with the eyebrows. And don't forget the neck. I wouldn't worry too much about the creams down there. Cause even if you're using like a light lilac colored eyeshadow, it's gonna have enough pigment on its own to help blend to the neck. And that way you don't worry about getting all sorts of makeup on your costume. Okay, so now we've got him lightened up. What I'm gonna go in and do now is a bit of contouring. I'm actually gonna use a medium tone gray eyeshadow and we're gonna go in and just accentuate the hollows to give more of a sunken in look. And don't worry about it being uneven. We want it to be kind of blotchy. And also where I'm gonna detail a little bit of bruising, I'm gonna go a little bit more of it through here. Like maybe you got like a you know blunt force trauma to the head and that's how he died. And then the zombies ate him, part of him, and that's why he's a zombie. We almost want it to look like, like black eyes, like, like the blood's pooled and collected in the eye socket area. So it's giving that purpley look to it. Now I'm gonna go in with a couple different, very yellowy green, almost like that pea soup green color eyeshadows. And it's, that's gonna show old bruises, like when your bruise fades a bit and it's got that yellowy, ugly green look to it. That's what these are gonna do for you. So I'm gonna go in this where we started with darkening this here with the purpley gray shadow to make a bit of a bruise. We're gonna add some of this right on top of it. And so far I'm just using bigger, fluffier brushes because it's more of a shadowing, not so much detail. So pretty much I was just using the darker pea soup green. Now we're gonna go ahead with a little bit lighter yellowy one more so around the edges of it, slightly overlapping. So it blends it together. So we've got pretty much our green shading done, sickly look. Now I'm gonna go in with a little bit different kind of a gray brown, just with a little bit smaller brush right in here to really accentuate just a really like darker under eye area. So I'm still using kind of a fluffy brush, a little bit smaller version. And if you'll notice, we start out with the bigger picture and now we're slowly moving into detail, but still not too detailed. We'll get to the veins and actual bruising details in a little bit. Okay, so now we've got pretty much the overall dead corpse kind of look to the skin. We've got a little bit of like a start of a bruise here. I'm gonna go in now and show you how to make this look more like a bruise, even with the shine that a bruise gets when it's kind of, sw kind of swollen, just nasty looking. What I'm gonna use to accomplish that, <laughs> got the dead twitches. What I'm gonna use to accomplish that is some cream eyeliners. You can get these at a lot of different department store brands. I'm gonna use a bit of a mid-tone purple one. I'm just gonna dab it first with kind of a flat brush. Switch over to a different brush. Still kind of same flat type one, but without any product on it. And as you're blending it, some of it will come off. It's, it's the nature of blending things. And I'm gonna be layering eye sh powdered eyeshadow over this. So this is just kind of making like the intensity of like a real nasty bruise. And when you're blending, you wanna go blend from the outside in so you don't spread it. You keep it localized to where the injury is and just do that more of this dabbing motion that you see me doing here. Not big strokes, little dabs. All right, now I'm gonna go back in with more of a, almost the same color, but actually just like a purple eyeshadow. And this you can work out a little bit further to kind of soften the edges of that so it blends into the pea soup green eyeshadow color that we used before to start the bruise. Now I'm actually gonna go in with like a real scarlet tone red blush. We're just gonna kinda tap it on there, but not real evenly, because you wanna kinda see a bit of the red of the bruise, as well as a bit of the purple of the bruise, because bruises are pretty irregular. We've all had bad ones. Hopefully not this bad. 
And now, to get some of the shine of a swollen bruise, I'm actually gonna take a little bit of lip balm. We're just gonna squeeze a little bit out. You can even use Vaseline. Anything's got that gooey, slick, shiny appearance to it. And again, I'm gonna use my uh, kind of a flat brush. Get a little bit on there. And this, you wanna be careful to not brush it, but just dab it. Just dab it into the brush off the back of your hand. And so what we're gonna go is we're just gonna tap it on so it has kind of like a moist, gooey, kind of just like a gross look to it. But you wanna make sure when you tap it down, you're just tapping it down, lifting up. Tap down, lift up. Because if you move it, it's gonna move the color from underneath. Look how nasty that looks. That's gorgeous. And now, we're actually gonna take a little bit of that same purple cream eyeliner and go right, right in here. Because we could do everything all on this side, but we gotta give this side some battery as well. And as I'm using the same brush, I'm actually using more of like the side of it as opposed to the flat side. So it's just more of the tip of it as opposed to the broad side. So you're using like the edge of a flat brush. A little too much on there, you don't wanna have too much. And just again, kind of tap. So you're just placing it right now. So you got it placed. I'm gonna go back in with our smaller flat brush. And what we use for the uh, lip balm, just wipe it off in between. Doing a zombie or an undead look of any type, things can be a bit messy and irregular because that's pretty much zombies. Kind of the sci-fi horror world's irregularities. They can look so many different ways. So we got nice, like a nice purple look in there. Like he just fell down some stairs. And again, I'm gonna go back with our purple eyeshadow, almost the same color as that cream eyeliner. And again, just pat it right over it. By using the cream first and then doing the powder over top, it's intensifying it, creating it a, a deeper look. And then once you get down to around here around the socket of the eye, you can kind of blend it out a little bit more, do a little more of the a brushing motion like so. But where you want it really intense, just pack it in there. Just tap a tap a tap a tap a tap a. Now I'm gonna go in with that scarlet red blush. Same brush, I'm not even gonna bother cleaning it off because if it all mixes together, that kind of works for this. So again, just get some on there. I always shake mine off a little bit so you don't end up with it all over here and just tap it in. And this we're actually gonna run it a bit across the eyelid here and just, just for the sake of it, I'm not gonna do purple over here, but we're gonna do some of the red is mixed with that pea soup green, it's just gonna make kind of an ugly, muddy, little bit red. Just an overall not healthy look. And that's all what zombies are about. And now I'm gonna have him look up with his eyes. Now a lot of guys, this is kind of weird for them, they're not used to this, but give them time to blink. And you're just tapping, you're not even really getting that close. It's just kind of brushing it down. So it looks just, just nasty and bloody. And we're gonna do a little bit of this right around the nose here and the corners of the mouth too. And I'm pretty invasive. I'm not afraid to get up in there a little bit. If it's a good friend of yours, your boyfriend, or whoever you're doing this on, they should know that you're not trying to search for anything. You know, as I go back and forth with using my fingers and the brush, just to kind of like smear it so they just look almost like a road rash. And there you have it. Stage one, stage two, decompose zombie.